So, what do you think of when you think of smartwatches? You think of the LG G Watch, the Moto 360, the Apple Watch, or that weird Microsoft thing that they pass off as a watch. But, when you think of smartwatches, you likely don't think of this. This is the poor man's smartwatch, and man is it bad. So what makes the smartwatch so bad? Well, let's start with the specs. Specs are not known. However, I suspect they're using a downsized Pentium 2 with less RAM than your legendary Razer flip phone. As for storage, there isn't much, maybe less than a floppy disk. In all seriousness, whatever it has under that pretty substantial plastic, it should not be this thick. Not to say that it's uncomfortable, but it's quite annoying. Speaking of the body, let's get into build quality. The build is a cheap plastic over the screen, but under that, there is some good plastic. Like, substantially good plastic. Thumbs up for that. But, where it gets disappointing is in the ports. On this side, you get the smallest, tiniest, well, quietest speaker you can get in a smartwatch, and the most infuriating USB port ever known to mankind. Look how poorly designed that is. That literally gets in the way of the USB port. So this obviously clears the uh, little flap, but any other charger would uh, lean sideways. On the other side, that's all you get. All you get is a power button. So the lack of ports is obviously normal, but what's not normal is the software used to connect this to your smartphone. The software is extremely dated. Seriously, it looks like it came out of the Android 2.2 Froyo days. Once you get through that though, you do get some functionality, but also some English. In the notification pushing settings, you get three options. You can block some, you can allow some, or you can turn them all off. It gives some good levels of customization, honestly. Other things you can do from here is enable remote camera functionality, which does exist. Sync contacts, find your watch, which is not very useful if it isn't connected, which usually it's not, and sync weather, which is also not very useful if it's not connected. There's also an option to turn on indication of whether or not it's connected, but that's not recommended because, again, it just won't connect, and it's kind of annoying. Despite all of its drawbacks, however, there is stuff I can say that works perfectly. Uh, calling works. Texting works, the remote camera function works, the sync works, but there's only one problem. You have to be connected for all of those, because if you're not connected, game over. And most of the time, unless you have a newer phone or you have, your phone has magical powers, it's just not going to connect. So in that respect, it's useless, right? Yeah, it's somewhat useful if you want to uh, have a status symbol. That's about all I can think of for this little turd that you could do. Like, you know, show to your friends, hey, I got a $50 uh, smartwatch. That barely does anything. So my verdict on the uh, smartwatch is just save your money and buy a real one. Because a real one will give you a better interface, better ports, I guess and better connectivity and it'll also you know be worth more money in the long run what I mean is like value that type of thing anyway thank you for watching this video I know the editing was kind of out of whack with this one that's because I decided last second to add a television over there for some reason anyway thank you for watching all comments and ratings are very much appreciated have a great day